So my name is Dao. I come from um, Ava Research, Ava Advisory. So um, first of all, if I, if my voice seem a little shaky, please know that it is because of you know the cold atmosphere around here. It's not because I'm exciting or anything. Yeah, but for some reason, every time I come to to give a speech, air is always cold. <laughs> so um, I come from Ava Research. Ava Research. It's a company. We're doing research in Thailand about um, financial stuff, but mostly the thing is our goal is not just limited to finance. We want to improve our country. We want to do something good for Thailand. And that is why we start new projects apart from finance, which is um, Vulcan. Vulcan is a project that we want to, to bring the disabled people to come into data science stuff. We want to use the, their special ability like um, the blind, who, who we realize that they should have the ability to hear better than other people, or um, you know you can imagine a lot of stuff, and and we we use them to to label data for us for for training the AI or or anything useful for business. That's just why we start um, with a little um, amount of people we have and and try to build something useful from it. From it. Um, apart from Vulcan. We also have another project, which is called Just for Paul. Um, it's a project that we want to track the, the movement of, of, of dogs or cats in, in our shelters because we want to, to know their behavior and stuff and something like that. This is kind of like the, the global idea of what, what research we are doing in, in AVAR. So we use a lot of, a lot of open sources. Why? Why do, we, why do we use a lot of open source? Is it good? Um, apart from being free, yes, of course, open source is free, right? We, we have everything. But the, the thing is, we use open, open source stuff because it's transparent. We don't want everything we de develop to contain you know, flaws or, or bugs. And when we deliver things to, to customers, we don't want it to you know, explode in their faces and and um, damage our reputation. That's why, because open source, we can analyze, we can take a look at the code and, and scrutinize until we make sure that everything is, you know, work in our scope of work, our, 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 our desired scope. That's why, that's the major reason why we think uh, the open source stuff is very good. And one, you know, uh, PyTorch is a thing we use also with TensorFlow, with um, other um, Python ecosystem, and and also the Cassandra and Hadoop and stuff, a lot of things. But the, the thing is, the greatest open source of all, perhaps, is mathematics, right? Mathematics is open source. We have code, we have theory, we have everything. The thing is, in, in 19th century, so it start at the beginning of 19th century, we, everyone knows David Hubert. He's a very, very famous mathematician of, of all time, I can say that. David Hubert has a dream, the dream to prove that Every mathematic theory, every axiom contains, whether it's uh, contain paradox, it's something that mathemati mathematicians doesn't like at all. Paradox is kind of like a, a box or flaw in, in, in program. It can explode. Every, if we develop a lot of theory and then explode, then this, those, those things that we work will become useless. So that's why D David Hubert tried to make sure that everything has no, can be proved. Can be has no box has no flaw, but it turns out that he can. Thanks to the efforts of uh, Alan Sochert, Godot Kurt, and, and Alan Turing, who invented comp who, who theory who invented computer we we, no we now know and use today. But the thing is, because we can prove, that means we must rely on the community to 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 verify everything that we work. That's why I think the idea of developing open source kind of like align with the goal of mathematics to, to open to every other people. Um, that is why I think the, the goals of the, the only way for open source stuff to, to become larger, to, to gain more people, is for us to use it, to adopt it, to take care of it, to mature until it's mature, and then we release it back to the community. We give it back to the society. That I think that's the only way that open source stuff like mathematics, PyTorch, Tender for everything can truly 
emerging as one with um, proven and, and um, for, for improving our, our, our way of life for humanities and for the rest of the world. Thank you. That's just, you know, rambling. <laughs> I have nothing to say much. So I, I know it's going to be hard for asking questions here, but I will be willing to answer anything. Thank you. Yes. Sure. Um, for the blind people, we want um, we want the, the the AI that we want to train is a text to speech. We want you know in, in Thai, even though in, in, in English everything is good. We have model we take from um, Google WebNet and stuff and, and run it for the work. But the thing is, to train text to speech in Thai, that's very hard because we don't have much data. The data we have is just, you know, like most of them is customer stuff, feedback, some, some complaints, some um, something like compliments, something like that. But we want more. We want to train the text to speech to, to, to read the books or even go for a textbook. But, but those things, because the data are not like aligned, they are not from the data set we have. So that's why, that's why it's very, very hard to train the text to speech in, in Thai. And that's why we have to gather, we have to, to accumulate, gather data from, from, from scratch. And, and I think using the blind people who, 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 and who their entire lives live in the world of darkness, who, who has to only use ear to, to navigate around the world, to understand the things, stuff, to perceive the world as they are. That's why I think they must have some, some kind of perspective, sharper, keener perspective than the rest of us. That's why if we take the current state as they are right now and combine them, use their power to train the AI to, to process the data for us, they will give us the AI that is very strong, very accurate, and be able to, you know, that's a part, as a part of the project is that we want to bring open, um, let the brine come, come, come back to the community. That is the idea. Thank you.